up guys, I'm Tim Fisher with Eastern Expedition Equipment and we're on a hunt today. Man, we're at the uh, beautiful uh, Maharan River. It's extremely low today. It's just, man, it's been a while since it's been this low and we're ready to get on some serious fox hunting. Uh, and it's up here in Eugene, say Emporia. Emporia. Emporia, Virginia. And uh, I'm with some mighty good friends today. Sure, Britt's my name. I'm the uh, guy for this little expedition here. It's been a long year's wait, but we're finally back at it. I've uh, been high water all spring, and now it's finally got in the condition we can go out and try to see what we can find. Uh, my name's Cass Castle, and I'm just here to help. <laughs> I'm Ross Fisher. Um, I'm ready. I've been hearing about this for two years now. I'm just, <laughs> finally I'm, made I'm, it. I'm ready. I'm just, I've been, I've been biting at the nail. Chomping at the bit. Yes, yeah. to, to get here. Just, I'm ecstatic. I'm just, I'm ready to get it. And uh, I'm Dustin Joyner, I'm Tim and Ross's friend, and uh, I'm just here to give them a hand. And we'll show you some footage a little later on about, uh, it's about a five mile path through the woods to get here. And going through bean fields, saw some beautiful deer. The wildlife here is just unbelievable. From black bear to turkey to, to some of the prettiest bucks you'll see anywhere on the earth, man. I mean, this is one beautiful place to be. And we hope to show you a lot of footage today and you just, uh, Feel like you will when you see it. Yep. We're on the hunt, guys. Check you later. Got <laughs> 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 a rat tail on. Alright guys, Ross Fisher, he's diving in the um, Heron River to see what kind of bones he can find today. Doing a little scuba diving. Oh yeah, he's come up on a really nice uh, whale vertebra right here. That's a small one, but it's uh, a nice specimen of a whale vertebra. And there's another real nice vertebra right there. They're too close by. Um, And there's a inner ear of a whale bone. Uh, and you can see it's shaped really different from anything else. And as you can see, he's in pretty, pretty shallow water. And you can see somebody standing right there near where he was uh, diving at. Uh, bones everywhere. I mean, this place is littered with bones. There's another uh, inner ear of a whale bone as well. But, uh, and visibility is not too bad. All right, Cass. Man, that is, man, that beautiful is, too. that is beautiful. Wow, man. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Got enamel. Got the mantle. Yeah, the mantle, the mantle. mantle and everything. Man. And chips. Pretty color. Short Pretty color. Side. It's beautiful. Man, it's beautiful. Doesn't get any better than that, brother. And yeah. it's starting to get that little bit of a tint that you only find here in the Meharing. Yep. Okay, uh, Ross is has found another um, real nice two specimens of uh, real bones out of whales. You can see this one's hollow where the marrow's deteriorated out of it, but uh, a real nice specimen of a, of a real bite of a whale. And that wide piece you see, that's a, a, a wider rib bone. It looks like a plank of wood. But, uh, and there's a whale rib and a vert right there. And you'll see our boat is getting loaded with uh, 
whale bone artifacts. Almost enough to make a whale. <laughs> Quite a few bones there in a short period of time. Ross has come up again with a real nice whale vertebra. That's a big one. That's uh, really nice. As you can see here, that's a, a megalodon tooth that I just picked up. And the other one is a great white shark tooth. And there's Sherrod, he's found another nice whale vert as well. Here's Dustin Joyner, he was on the hunt with us today and uh, wanted to see what we could do. And so he's going to try his hand at a little free diving here. And as you'll see, you can see several bones down there. And that's a nice whale vertebra as well. Another nice whale bone as well. That's also a, a whale vertebra. Just shaped a little different in a different different you know part of their body. And this one's really nice. It's a big, big, almost as big as a dinner plate. Very big whale vertebra. First dig, first dig in a new spot. What do you got? Make oh, it. Oh, let me grab my. Yeah, go get him. Hold him up, Sherrod. Hold him back up. Hold him up, bro. Mine's, mine's just a little shiver. There he is. All right. Okay, here's one of our rakes that we use. Uh, other than uh, scuba diving and snorkeling and free diving. Uh, we also use these special specialized rakes just for uh, pulling artifacts, you know, just right a few inches under the uh, uh, layer of sand or gravel that's right on the very bottom. And as you'll see, we uh, we do find quite a few shark teeth that way. Rinse it off real good and uh, shake it a little bit. It's just like a shaker box with a handle on it, and it works very well. Uh, right here, Craig, one of the guys with us, uh, he found a, a really nice, uh, smaller, great white shark tooth, but a nice tooth. As you'll see, he'll show it again in just a minute. Real nice tooth. And there's another real, real big uh, whale bone, real wide bone. As you can see, Craig's digging down in the uh, sand to pull up. Uh, a little scoop of uh, what's on the bottom and man this one's really really good here beautiful whale vertebra as well uh, nice specimen of a whale vertebra and man that tooth is something else that's a very big great white shark tooth and, and these teeth are pretty hard to find they're, they're sort of a rare tooth um, uh, but a really nice find Great white shark tooth. All prehistoric.
What's up guys? I'm Tim Fisher with Eastern Expedition Equipment and I'm with Britt. This is my shop. I've been uh, looking for fossils for quite a few years and we have uh, quite a few to choose from here that we've gotten over the last couple of years. Uh, a lot of teeth. And Craig, Craig Castle out here has got several big whale vertebrae. Uh, just happened to be a, a past co-worker of Sherrod's and a friend. We hunt and fish a little bit together. Do a little scratching, uh, trying to turn up a few fossils now and then. Done real good the past couple of uh, expeditions, man. It's been unbelievable. I'm telling you, just water's been extremely low this summer. We were able to get in there and, and uh, you know, find a whole lot of good, good stuff. Yes, you did. Had a, had a good dry spell this summer. I know the farmers hated it, but we had a good dry spell, which made real good for our scratching and digging a little bit. Uh, had a couple of real good outings this summer. Always a good outing when you go out with friends and family and fellowship. That's true. And, That's true. And, you know, a lot of big teeth, man. Found, found some real decent teeth. Uh, found a few artifacts we're not real sure about just yet. We're working on uh, our general population in eastern North Carolina really does not realize all the history that we have here in the eastern part of North Carolina. Uh, it's just it's overwhelming. You know, Sherrod has got some Indian artifacts here, some Native American artifacts he's found <coughs> right up against the Maharan that date back thousands of years. Uh, uh, like we talked about earlier, everybody talks about our, our first settlers coming over. They really weren't first settlers. When they got here, the Native Americans were here for centuries before them. Centuries before them. Yeah. Uh, all of their history is getting by to the wayside that it's getting passed down by word of mouth. It's just being lost. It's you know it's not being recorded. Uh, so there's a, a ton of, of Native American artifacts. Uh, everybody's talking about, like I say, our lost colony. Everybody knows about the lost colony. Uh, how they were left here to go back to supplies, and they came back. They disappeared. Well, now here in eastern North Carolina, the researchers are thinking that uh, the lost colony actually moved up to Albemarle Sound and settled in. Perky County. Man, that's, that's some good stuff. Right, that's, that's <laughs> more history here and the, you know, that nobody really realizes. They're stumbled across a, a period in time that it's producing fossils, sharks, teeth, whale bone, vertebrae, that was, it's been exposed. And that's another part of history that most folks don't realize here in the state of North Carolina. Man. It's just amazing. I mean, it's, it's like, the Meharan the Meharan River is just like a, to me it's just like a cemetery <laughs> full of fossils. I mean, just bones after right. bones after bones. It's just it's overwhelming the number of bones that we're finding. And uh, uh, you know, you uh, really found something interesting on, on our last expedition. And this tooth, which we didn't realize was a tooth until we did a little research, uh, not knowing really what it was. Take a look at it. Yeah, uh, it's slick. I mean, it's shiny slick. We uh, I sent a, a it's beautiful. I sent a message to the North Carolina Science Museum, and that curator told me that he hadn't seen anything like it. So he had a contact at Smithsonian. So he in turn forwarded a picture that I sent him to Smithsonian. The Smithsonian in turn told him that he thought it was a rhinoceros tooth. Well, Smithsonian not being exactly 100% sure, they contacted one of their uh, curators. They know a uh, a scientist, a uh, paleontologist. Out west, it dealt with uh, large land mammals, prehistoric time. Well, he in turn did the same thing. He assured us that what I have is a piece of a upper mole of a rhinoceros. Man, around here, that's just crazy. Right. So <laughs> now we're in the process of looking to see how rare, how, what kind of find this is. Were these a popular species here in North Carolina? Is this the first rhinoceros? Uh, Evidence that was found in the state. So it'd be interesting to find out. But yeah, that's something that was definitely different yeah. than this trip. We'll get some close ups for everybody to see here shortly. <laughs> you know, Sherry found that, yeah. and we've always thought that, you know, it was some type of swordfish type beetle or some type of some type of effect. Yeah. But now that we've stumbled across some uh, rhinoceros pieces, we don't know. We'll have to go back and look. And it's also going to make us try to go back and look at some of our whale vertebrae and our rib cage that we always thought was whale bone and, and uh, rib cage vertebrae. 
that it may be something for something else. You know, it may be the ice age could yeah. be other species that we really don't know about. Yeah. That'll be interesting. To do. It'll be a, a good wintertime project of research and find out exactly correct. what all yep. these bones really are. You know, That's right. the uh, state museums have really been been good to us. Yeah, extremely helpful. Yeah. yeah. Folks do not realize the amount of knowledge and help that our state museums have got. They are probably one of our use, uh, less utilized resources here in the state. Yeah. And they've always been really good about, you know, anytime, I know I've taken some bones up there in the past that I wasn't sure about. Them. Just like that, they're just That's right. highly skilled and they're, they're, they're really good about helping you out. And yep. it's just really been a good resource, as you say, for, for finding out the exact you know the name and, and exactly the period of time era of time that it came from just really pinpoint thing and the, the amount of knowledge there the curator that i talked to uh immediately once i shot him an email and he shot he responded to me he said hey what do you got send the picture and it just has, it snowballed from there you think that this little tooth that i have found right here in, in meharan yeah they have looked at it at smithsonian you know and now they were interested so it's, it's, it'll be an interesting journey to see where it came from. It will be, and it's amazing to think that it could very well be the only tooth that has surfaced yep. so far. First one in North Carolina. Uh, yeah, yep. of a rhino. But just uh, so many interesting things to, to see, and uh, we're going to stay with it, guys, and we'll see you on the hunt later. Okay, guys, we uh, just recently got off the hunt from the, uh, the Meharan River Expedition, and we kind of got our stuff cleaned up. Well, most of the artifacts that we got off our, our last expedition, we wanted to show you uh, what it looked like cleaned up and just tell you a little bit about them. Um, as you can see right here, uh, there's a, a whole assortment of shark teeth, all prehistoric. Uh, Megalodon, we've got you know, great whites, we've got tiger shark, we've got um, a mako. We've got, uh, all these are in an ear out of whales that we have found. There's some really big ones there, and it's just hard to believe we find so many of these uh, inner ear bones out of whales. And when you think about it, there's only two, <laughs> two per whale, and we're finding bunches of them. You know, that's really crazy. That's pretty that, rare. That you find so so many, so there must have been a lot of whales that ended up in this body of water. You know, yeah. well, one your whale teeth. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, there's two whale teeth right there, and there's sperm whale teeth. Kind of hollowed out on the inside. Yeah. Yep. Man, that's some good sized megs too you got there. Yeah, good size. It's pretty rare to find them in that good of shape, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's the one where they got the name where they call them Snaggletooth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you'll see we also find these uh, big scallop shells really nice scallop shells uh, all different sizes that's uh, not the biggest we found some as big as a plate really I mean really big big uh, scallop shells that's a really in in depth uh, vert right there yep. it had the little wings come off the side where it yep. connect to um, the ribs yep it's very rare to find that in as good a shape as it is the, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing right there. Stuff going around. Exactly how that would look. And we've got some footage of uh, you you diving, pulling up that one, and you pouring the water out. I yeah. wish you were, <laughs> you were yeah, playing hollow all the way through. Yeah, and you can dip water in and pour right back out. Yep. So we've got some footage. <laughs> that's a that. big one. That's that's rare to find one that big too, and that in that good a shape as well. Very uh, rare. Definitely a real bone. Yeah, yeah. It would have been one of the one now, of the bones, and that would have been as well. Yeah, and it's you know, so it looks like a piece of wood. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's fossilized out. You could build a house with some stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> or beat somebody with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's you know, when you see it in the water, if you didn't know what it was, you'd think it's a piece of wood. I mean, it looks like a plank of wood or something, but it's it, it's fossilized bone. It is. Um, all all these out of a whale that you know what we're getting our information from out of the museum. That these are these are whale artifacts. Um, as you can see, big vertebra here, uh, lots of them. We have found out a lot of these. Uh, you can get an idea how big, big they are. Some of them are big as dinner plates. Um, yeah, there's another. That one's really, in really, really good condition. 
I have actually never found one as as good. That's the best find of a of a bird actually yep. I've ever found. Yeah, it's a special bird. It had to be one of the ones right behind yeah. like the neck bone, you know, yeah. or right behind where the yeah. skull would start. Skull. Right. Yeah. And heavy. And the thing about it is, when we're finding these things, just like these bones, um, they're, you know, they nobody's ever had their hands on them since uh, we found them, you know. And it's just amazing that, and they're um, <laughs> completely saturated with water. So this, these bones may weigh 25 or 30 pounds a piece. Very heavy because they're saturated in water until they they dry out. They're like really heavy. A lot of them will have mud still caked on them because they're partially you know uh, stuck in the mud as well. Um, and something to just to give you a little information about. This is a little chart, um, and what is showing how you distinguish your shark teeth uh, when you find them, you know, in creeks and streams or you know wherever you're finding them at. Um, the great white shark tooth, as you can see right there, it's the middle one. It's, it's sort of a flat tooth, but the way you tell the difference in it, it's got a serrated edge on it. It's like a saw. And uh, yeah, there you go. And you can see the serrated edge on it. See all right there? Right there. Looks like a saw. Mm -hmm. yep. And if it's a mako, which is this one, the same size, the same shape, yes, just, just no, just no serrated. Yes, yeah, real, it, right. It's smooth. It has a real smooth, almost like a knife actually. Edge. Yeah, that's it's got a real, real smooth, smooth edge. edge on there. And you can see that the roots on the uh, on the mako and the great white are very similar. There's very little, just maybe a little bit more dip in the great white, but not a lot. Now, when you go to the uh, megalodon, it's a thicker tooth, a whole lot thicker. Right. And it's serrated edged as well, like the great white. It's got a serrated edge, and you can see the root on it uh, is more rainbow. It's got more of a bend in it. So you can tell the difference. There's a difference in that. And that's how you distinguish a lot of these teeth is, like I say, by, you know, is it, does it have a serrated edge on it? If it does have a serrated edge, if it's a real thin tooth with a, and the root is real flat, then you know it's a great white. If you find one that looks just like that with a smooth edge on it, then it's going to be a mako. Uh, now, if you find a thick tooth with more of an arch to the root and it's got a serrated edge or a saw edge on it, then the chances are that's a megalodon, more than likely so it would be a megalodon too. Uh, and so, you know, when you're out, in a while looking, if you ever had that opportunity, you'll it'll kind of give you an idea of what you would find, what you would what you'd be looking for if you find a tooth, so you could distinguish what it is. Um, but anyway, like I say, this was just a short run that we did in the Meharan, uh, a vast variety of fossils. Right. Um, so many whale bones, we didn't have <laughs> no way at the table room to show you but yeah I we literally filled up a raft yeah yeah we filled up and you'll see it in the in the uh, video but I think we found somewhere close to 70 whale vertebrae alone just 70 of these and then I can't tell you how many rib bones and then you know, quite a few teeth, teeth, teeth ear bones ear bones we found a lot of ear bones a, uh, a yeah that's a really that's, that's a, a really good that's one. a really good one I mean there's no there's no doubt that that's an ear bone I mean once you think about it and it kind of looks like a like a ear. I think you were telling me, Tim. There's, there's actually three parts of the ear bone, right? Right. And that's mm -hmm. another part that connects on to the ear bone. That's that's another part. And, and the thing about it is, once you see all of these artifacts, just like that bone, and you see these ear bones, uh, inner ear bones. Once you ever see it, put your hands on it, get an idea of what it looks like. Instantly, when you see one from then on out, you know exactly what it is. I mean, it's just common nature. You learn. Quick up on it, quick, right? And you know, this coral. This is a small piece of coral that uh, we found a lot of coral out there as well. So, um, just a lot of cool artifacts, man. I mean, we we uh, we had a really good expedition, I think. It'd be good. And uh, we're planning several more trips, as you'll see in some later shows. Um, we hope to give you a lot more footage on uh, the Meharan, and we're going to do some on the Tall River. We've already been shooting there as well. We've got a lot and, of exciting stuff coming yeah, up. Yeah. So I'm, we'll, I'm stoked about it. Yeah. And we find the same stuff in the Tall River, which is going right through our county here. So uh, same type of artifacts. So we'll be showing you footage of that as well. We'll see you guys on the hunt, guys. Later.